Hey guys, uh, it's your physics teacher. I'm going to show you how to build one of these like relief uh, drop payload shoot for the, the target zone uh, setup things here. Okay, so um, this is an Amazon box. Uh, I got this because, uh, you know, all I buy is Amazon when I'm at COVID land. Um, you know, so you probably have a cardboard box lying around. And a physics book. Look, a physics book. So I put this box, I cut it up and opened it up and put it on top of physics book. So on top of physics book. Okay, I'm gonna use this um, like little marble. You can use, uh, so this is actually a smooth steel ball bearing, but you don't need to have one of these, you can just use a marble. Um, oh yeah, did you guys see that? I'm gonna do it again. Um, so I'm just like rolling down the like nice cut up part, uh, folded part of the Amazon box so it goes straight. Um, hey, it's going pretty slow. That's what you want. You want it to go slow. So you don't, don't build like when you're building this, don't build your ramp so it's like real big because then it'll go too fast. So you want it to go pretty slow. So, um, you know, if you put it on like one book, it kind of looks like flat, I'll be honest with you, but it's not flat, it's like it lets you roll it a little, you know, boom. Hey, it's hitting right here and like losing some energy there. So how can I minimize that energy? Um, so tape is your friend. So I'm, you're just gonna tape, tape it. Um, oof, uh, I can't do this with one hand. I'm gonna try doing it with like, here, I'm gonna put the phone down for like one second. Oh, oh, oh. Look, you can see me, I'll flip it over. This is so bad. Where's the tape? You know, why can't, why can't we make nice things? There we go. Look, tape. Booyah. Like, see what I did there? I made, I put a piece of tape there. So now, oof. Oof. That is, that would be a little bit better. Oof. So now you have less bump. You have less bump, so your energy is not lost there. So it's a nice, smooth thing, and it's going to fly out over here, right? High five. So once I have, this is actually, I might modify this with more tape because it looks like it's bumping right there. Um, maybe my tape isn't straight. There we go. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna, it's gonna launch right here, go this way. So what I need to do is measure how much it's gonna fall with my um, measuring tape. And then I'm gonna put the target sheet. Here's my target sheet. I printed it, you don't have to print one. If you can't print one, just like, uh, what do you call it? Make one. <laughs> X marks the spot is good. So you're gonna line it up down here where you think it's gonna land. Um, not where you think, but where you are estimating with your equations. So um, how do I estimate these things with equations? So let me, oh, I'm gonna run over here. Run over here, run over here. I know, I'm cheating, I'm cheating. I actually have a meter stick. But you can do this with measuring tape. You're gonna measure the height of your table. Like, so it's gonna fall from right there. Mine looks like it's about 89 years old, 89 centimeters. Um, oh my God. Here, I'll do the analysis for you even. Look, this is so, this is so bad, I'm cheating. Oh crap, I don't have my markers out. I need to get markers. Do you guys see any? Oh, this is so bad. I'm unprepared. I'm unprepared. Um, crap. Uh, maybe there's a Sharpie over here. I saw a Sharpie over here. Okay, so look, I'll do it on pa I'll, I'll, I'll do it on paper for you. Steal some from out of the printer. Okay, uh, let's see. I was gonna do it on the board, but I don't have my markers out. Okay, um, so the height was 89 centimeters. That's 0 0.89 meters. That's a given. What else am I given? Acceleration is minus 10 meters per second squared. So I can use this equation, um, S equals UT plus one half AT squared to figure out uh, the time it takes to, how much time it's gonna be in the air for. So watch this, like U, what's the initial velocity? Uh, it's zero um, because it's all horizontal. So like, I'm gonna draw a picture here. Here's the ball, it's rolling this way. And I've measured this distance S 
how much of the velocity is pointing down. Uh, so a lot of people put little y's there. What is the velocity in the y direction? Well, it's zero. So this is all, we can put little y's in here. So the displacement is, what's the displacement in the y direction? It's 89, 0.89 equals this one's zero, so that's a zero, plus one half minus 10 t squared. Okay, so if I've done this right, uh, ooh, did I do this wrong? This is negative 0.89. So this is kind of tricky because displacement, we say that's y equals zero at the top, so because it's negative going down. So if I do this, if I do this right, the negatives will cancel. So this is like minus 5t squared equals minus 0.89. So we must make them positive because uh, you can, you know, make them positive. Uh, and then divide by 5. And then you square root both sides. What's 89 divided by 5? Well, 90 divided by 5 is like uh, 18. So can I just say 18? We'll just say 18. We'll just pretend that's a 90. That's real bad than 18. What's the square root of 18? Because that's my t. Oof. I needed my phone for this. Crap. Well, ugh. square root of 18. You guys know about what that is. I'll tell you what it is. I'll come over here. Look, I'm running over here. We're running now. This video is like six minutes long now. It's like super... Super bad. Um, so, uh, square root of, what is it? Square root of um, 0.18, right? So it looks like 424. 424. 0.424. So my hang time, 0.424 seconds. Okay, that's my time that it's going to be in the air. So it's going to be in the air, like, you see that? It's going to be in the air for 0.424 seconds. Well, how much distance does it travel? Distance equals velocity times time. Well, what's the velocity of it? So I'm going to have to measure the speed of this thing um, in the x direction, right? So I need to figure out how much speed is going. But I know it's going to go for 0.424 seconds times the speed of it. Well, how the hell do I get the speed of it? Well, so what you're going to have to do... Ooh, something just broke. Well, whatever. Okay, what you're going to have to do is... I'm backing up here. I'm going to, like, have to, like, measure the speed of that somehow. How do you get speed? It's just distance over time. So, like, mm, That looks like 60, 66, 666, 67. We'll say 67 centimeters. Um, so... By the way, I'm done if I get this, right? It's like 66 centimeters, which is 0.66. I'll, pour, I'll write, let's just leave everything in centimeters because we want it in centimeters. 66 centimeters divided by how much time it's gonna take. 0.424. So wait, how much time does this take? Crap, I need a timer. Um, shoot, my phone. Ah, ah, my phone is being used as a timing device. Do I have a timer? Like, I'm a physics teacher, right? think that they'd be a frickin' timer somewhere. I have a stopwatch somewhere. I feel like these things, you know, it's like you live in a world with multiple phones. I only have one phone. Like, what? How am I gonna get the timer? There's a timer somewhere. I've got, you know, stopwatch would be real nice to have in your class. Like, I know I have these somewhere. This is what's aggravating to me, is like, if we were in class, we would like, Totally have these. There should be a freaking timer somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna ghetto this thing. I can do this because I'm. I have a computer. <laughs> like, let's see. This is so bad. All right, let's see. So, um, just download a timer app from. You know, I need some sort of stopwatch. Stop. Watch. Look at that. That's real. I can hit start and stop. This is gonna be so ghetto. How am I going to do this? Because I have one hand. Remember, I have one hand here. Okay, I'm going to put the phone down again. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ready, set. Start. Stop. Okay, so I... I got... Oof. Oh, okay. So I got 1.82 seconds. Or, yeah, 1.82 seconds. Now, real quick, that was just one trial. I should probably do that more than one time. And then take an average. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it like that. Oh god, what's 66 over 1.82? 
So again, just go into here. Uh, Google 0.67 actually over 1.82. Looks like 0.3, so that's how fast it's going, 0.368 meters per second. 0.3, or 36.8, this should be a seven. I don't know why I did that as a, th sorry. That should be a 67 over 1.82. So that's 36.8 centimeters per second times 0.424. I'm, I'm real bad. Uh, 0.424 seconds. That's how much distance the thing needs to travel. So, oof. Um, uh, okay, so I'm trying to do this so you can focus here. Times 0.424 equals. So, by the way, this should be I it should be 15.6 because I did so. That's 15.6 centimeters. So that that is where I need to, so how the hell do I do that? Okay, so you come over here and you, boom, drop this down. Uh, that's about parallel to the floor. Oh. So I put it down on the floor. I have to measure 15 centimeters, which is about right, right in there. That's where that marble's gonna hit. Now you want you're setting this up, you want to make sure it's like whoop, in line with your where it's gonna fall. Okay? So this is now the moment where you get your aluminum foil. Aluminum foil is real nice at like figuring out where the hell is the aluminum foil. Okay, let's see, there's like Aha! Yes! Okay, so if you don't have aluminum foil, it's gonna be harder, but you're taking a video of this anyway, so you probably go back and like... Um, can I use two hands again? Ah, ha, 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 Okay, so, they just put that right on over there. Look at that. Now it's, you're ready to, ready to draw. Okay, ready? Where's my little marble? Somewhere over here. Little marble. Okay, now, this is real ghetto. I'm gonna have to get real lucky here. There's a lot of variables here. I didn't actually do this very precisely, so make sure you do it better. Ready, set, go. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. So, as you can see right there, look at that right there. There's a little crater. A crater right there. Oh, my God. Get a little Sharpie. Guess where the hell this landed? Are you guys excited? It's like we're on the moon. You can't see anything. It's a real bad video. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna need two hands. I'm slowly uncovering, but like, see that? Oof, right? There. So, um, I wasn't perfectly in line with the thing, obviously, but like, had I, had I probably moved it over a little bit, I would've gone to 93, so wa watch this, right? <laughs> I'm not sliding, it's not that I'm changing the 15.2, I'm just actually moving it back to where it should've been, and then I'll put this thing over. I know, right? I, I didn't eyeball this very well. There was a little bit of like, okay, ready, set, go. Yeah, right on the money. Look at that. That's real, man. That's real. So look, there was a little deviation there because they're not like perfectly lined up, right? But look at that. That's like right there. And this will leave little indentations on your paper. So um, look, I had like almost right on the money. Almost right on the money. So um, what am I turning in? I'm turning in a video of this what I built here, and I built this real ghetto-like. Um, you gotta turn in your calculations here. Oh, this is real bad. There you go. Um, so this is me signing off. Hopefully we get the emergency drop landed in the right spot, you know. People are gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> That's me.